the one thing that ended up transforming my auto detailing business took me from basically what I was doing to 10 times. And actually, I think if you did the math, about 10 to 12 times what I was doing before is maintenance clients. And the reason I say that is because what a maintenance client does, and I'm live on location right now doing this uh, newer Honda Civic, actually just finished it, this is a maintenance client. Figuring out the trick to not only developing a list of maintenance clients, pricing them correctly, and servicing the car correctly. Basically what this does is it sets up an equation for you that basically it looks like this. Less time plus less effort equals the same or more profitability. And when you can develop the equation to be less time plus less energy input equals greater profitability than what you were doing before, that's where the true multiplication of your auto detailing business goes. This can be done in a lot of different ways. You can get employees, right? Um, I'm about to hire a few different people to work with me this summer. That's a way that that's going to happen. But when you have a vehicle not driven in the rain, kept garaged, kept protected, number one, that automatically causes me to let, spend less time. Number two, I see it regularly automatically, again, chipping away at that time. Number three, smaller, right? Generally, maintenance clients drive sports cars, smaller sedans. You're not normally maintenancing Tahoes, big SUVs, big, big minivans. Sometimes I maintenance Sprinter vans. The point is this, you only have so much time in a day. You only have so much time to put in. There's only 24 hours in a day. So the question becomes, how do I, in a sense, automate my detailing business to generate X amount of cash flow, and how do I continually, over time, chip away at the time in order to maintain that same cash flow, and again, over time that I'm chipping away at that time and maintaining the same cash flow, I wanna increase it, again, steadily over time. Time I'm spending going down, profitability going up. It's like this inverse, right? This inversion. So I'll take you around and show you the car actually. Pretty sweet vehicle on this one. Basically the only thing that takes any sort of amount of time is kicks up a lot of brake dust for obvious reasons, right? But uh, the vehicle is maintained, looks really, really good. Keep it protected. If you're not careful in the auto detailing business, you can actually create more work for yourself. And that's probably not what you wanna do. While we all love detailing, we're all passionate about detailing, that's great, that only takes you so far. There also has to be a strategic system in place. And so that's another reason why I say, if you're building an auto detailing business, wanting to learn how to detail um, maybe better, people who detail on a daily basis find these little secrets and they find these efficiencies that can be applied in your business that maybe somebody outside of the auto detailing business is not going to be able to communicate clearly or well because over the years as you're seeing cars all the time there's these nuances that you learn how to cut to the chase, you learn how to cut the BS, and you learn how to get right to what you're trying to do. And so for example here, this is a, a $100 an hour uh, client. And so I say that because my goal is if you're at $20 an hour, if you're at $18 an hour, if you're at $30 an hour, $40 an hour, how do you again 10x that you know, 5X that, whatever that looks like, where you're developing a system of $100 an hour, three times a day, six times a day, eight times a day, because again, even with one single person, something like in this context, that would be possible without even hiring employees. And it, th it takes thinking creatively, right? But I think you guys are getting the point I'm making. Maintenance clients, 
basically 10x'd my business. That was the one key that transformed everything.